right, good evening, and uh, we're especially appreciative of those that will be joining us on uh, Rockton Community Access uh, throughout the rest of this month. There's a lot of things going on in Brockton, and I'm not, not sure if Ann's able to see the screen there, but <laughs> our small businesses, so we want to be able to support them, and uh, yeah. I will give the official Richard seal of approval for Hartley's Jamaican <laughs> Restaurant. All right. Uh, met there with a, yeah. another couple the other night and had a oh, great wow. dish. Yeah. Actually, several dishes, and uh, very good food, and uh, so, uh, I told uh, the owner came out and greeted us and very friendly and I said hey you know can, do you have your logo here's my card send me your logo I'm going to put you on happeningandbrockton.com and so before the night was out I had the logo and it was on there first thing the next morning so uh, and then of course uh, we had some flyers here for folks that uh, the Brockton Bruisers will be soon having a an event where they actually it's a competition and uh, we have a special place in our heart for them because they practiced in our basement for quite a bit uh, at the start of the pandemic when they couldn't get in any places to uh, practice we let them down in our basement and they <laughs> just barely made it for a short track so uh, they have this is I think their very first public event uh, coming up um, what is it June 2nd I think yes June 2nd uh, and so uh, we invite people to attend and uh, be a part of that. Also, uh, let's see. Well, I've mentioned the uh, happeninginbrockton.com. We want to make sure that you send in any notices for uh, events that are coming up. And you go to that website and you can see all kinds of things that are going on. It's a very busy uh, month of May. And a lot of the June events are getting out there. Um, I think it's at least two more poetry readings uh, events at the library uh, this month. And then uh, in June, there's some book readings that are going on and one I think on July 1st. So uh, always something happening at the Brockton Public Library. We ask you to, hey, stop in and see what's there. And uh, we're looking forward to, at some point in the near future, getting the roof replaced. It's been approved for financing in that. Now we're just waiting on the uh, bids to come in so that that can be done so we can protect our public library. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Well, I'm uh, off the top of my head. I know what to do next, and that's say, Ann, come on up. Okay. Because <laughs> she has a list, a pile of things. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to highlight this uh, this again, all right, I want to make sure I'm in here, yeah, I'm, I'm in here, right, yeah? Yes. Okay, great, thank you, all right, here we are, this is Cultural Fears and Tourism, it's a very short meeting tonight because so many people are doing so many things right now in the community, so um, it's uh, Thursday, um, the 11th of May, and we usually meet at 6 o'clock at uh, North Baptist Church, 899 North Main Street, plenty of parking in the lot right next to the building. Anyone can come, make their announcements, etc., interact with other individuals. So here we go. First of all, we do have this marvelous event here. We're very excited for the Brockton Brews. This is a woman's roller derby group. And on 6-2, which is Friday the 2nd of June, uh, they're competing at um, 340 Oak Street in Pembroke at 7 p.m. $10 admission, kids under 10 free. And um, yes, Broughton Bruises versus Cape Cod. And they're at the Wolves Den. I think this is so funny. And uh, I just think it's pretty neat for myself. I remember when this was so popular in the 70s and it's back because everything old is new again. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's the 11th of May. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, to everyone that's a mother or um, someone that has been a mother to, you know, in uh, a variety of ways. Okay. Two, let's see here. We've, we've, we're having the um, Broughton High performance of Mamma Mia on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. And um, that, the, that's always marvelous. 
It's right at Broughton High in the Fine Arts Museum in the auditorium. Tickets are available at the door and they're usually so inexpensive, $3, $5. You will never be disappointed. And that kicks off the concert series of the band and the chorus as uh, everyone gets ready to graduate. Broughton High is graduating on Saturday, June 3rd. And uh, actually everyone's getting out of school, Broughton the school system on Friday, June 16th, because no one, has, there, there's been no snow days. I mean, this is historic. This hasn't happened in years. Okay, now that having been said, let's see. Let's talk about it. What else is going on? We have on, uh, let's see, Saturday, May 20th. Let's see, the Rotary is up at DW Field Park, cleaning DW Field Park, and the public is welcome. Okay, um, ask President Tina White. And you can go on, you know, to the website, their Facebook page, and check it out. Uh, the park is a tremendous asset. Also, Wildlands Trust has been visiting and propping up to ask people for their input on what they love about the park, what they'd like to see changed about the park, because there is funding coming in to upgrade and address concerns that the residents of both Avon and Broughton have. So that's very encouraging. Next, the kids' road races continue to go on. So they'll be on, let's see, on the 13th and the uh, 20th and what have you. One dollar to two run. You don't have the dog, you can still run. Kids, four to 14. And uh, that's at DW Peel Park. They can call Dave Borman at 508-588-3148. So 40 kids that ran this last week. They run in the rain unless it's a thunderstorm. They don't do that. And uh, this is the wild thing about it. You start going downhill and you come around up to the tower uphill. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, I think I mentioned the Garden Club is having their plant sale on Saturday, May 20th. Begins at 8.30 in the morning at 45 Meadow Lane, which for those of you who don't realize, is the Parks and Recreation Department for the City of Broughton. It's a dead-end street. Get there early. 8.30 to 11, um, phenomenal selection, and all the proceeds go to funding all the citywide beautification projects. And, uh, for example, 20 geraniums will be at City Hall for the Memorial Day events, which I don't want to forget to mention is a holiday parade on that Monday. The uh, 28th, no, have it, no, 29th, forgive me, the 29th, mm -hmm. and um, that starts at 10 o'clock, and everyone ends at City Hall Plaza, okay, I want to make sure I mention that, it's all free to the public, and uh, it's just a really nice time, and it's the last time the Brockton High Bands uh, plays with the seniors, and performs always, uh, you know, a great day, you know, to pay tribute to the veterans, also afterwards, there's a um, reception at the BFW Post 1046 on North Quincy Street, Bronx. The public is welcome. That usually starts in between 11.30 and 12 o'clock. And there's wreath lanes throughout the city. Okay. Now, I don't want you know, again, there are endless amounts of activities. And um, anyone can come and, um, how would I say it, be a part of this. Our next meeting, I believe, if I have it correctly, is June, um, let's see, 8th? Yes, June 8th, 6 p.m., 899 North Main Street, North Baptist Church. You're all welcome. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, and I know I am. Oh, oh, what are our favorite events? The Green Festival. This is the mini one. Mm. Begins on the 19th, Friday 19th. Oh, I'm going to say around noontime. And it goes till Sunday around 6 p.m. on the 21st. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. You will never be disappointed with the great food. And you can take out, you can eat there. Just wonderful. And um, again, like I said, just scratching the surface of all the great stuff. As um, what was mentioned before, the library activities. What's oh, mentioned also is um, there's always flag raisings taking place, recognizing all the countries 
oh, um, that residents from the city of Broughton have come from, and that's pretty amazing, it's over 80. And uh, so there's not quite 80 flag raisings, but I'd say there's 20 to 30. So um, that's pretty amazing too. Again, we still have the sports going on as, as students do the wind down. You have your Little League also, and your soccer leagues. And um, again, I know I'm forgetting something, and shame on me for doing so. Yes, oh, and we have one more, so I'm gonna let you uh, pass this over here, yeah? <laughs> Okay. We did, we're just playing tag tonight, oh. but also on the 20th, which is an extremely busy day yeah. with all the different events oh, that are going sure, on yeah. that day, but uh, I want to invite folks to stop by the main public library from 10 to 2 because the uh, Brockton Library Foundation has its book sale going on that day, so uh, come get a couple of good reads, you know, I mean, the books I mean, what, 25 cents for some, dollars the max, I think, <laughs> all kinds of DVDs, so come support, because the foundation, one of its jobs is to support activities, and we just approved there uh, for Pat Monteith. Oh, the planetarium, The planetarium, yes. so that now um, we will own the program, so we won't have to keep renting it. And uh, when we saw her just a few weeks ago, or a week ago, uh, <laughs> wow, man, time flies by. Yes. Um, she had four schools that was going to be in over the next several days. Yes, yes. And so uh, this is a big project. So this is part of the things that the foundation does. And, of course, the book sale is one of the places that we raise a lot of funds. And uh, so come there that day, you know, pick up a couple good books, and uh, after you've picked up some plants at the Plant Garden Club plant sale, and there then, you go, yes. and, and then go over to the Greek Festival <laughs> and, 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 and enjoy, yeah. I mean, there's an ideal day, so, yeah. oh, sure. uh, <laughs> and I'll testify, some of the Greek food that is there is as good as what I got when I was in Athens, <laughs> so, uh, again, it, it has my official seal of sure. approval for the food. Uh, but anyway, so again, lots of things going on uh, in the month of May and the month of June, but you always want to keep up with it by going to our website, happeninginbrockton.com. If you have something you want to submit and advertise, just send it to me, rdrconsult at gmail.com. That's my shortest email that I have, so, uh, and then we'll get it up there. It's for any of the nonprofits, small businesses. We're, we want to support Brockton and let people know what's going on in Brockton. That's our whole purpose. So, hope you have a good rest of tonight and uh, enjoy the, the weather because it's a little warm for some of us. <laughs> All, right. All right, I have one more oh. here. Okay. We we cannot emphasize enough, there's so much talent and so many skills and what have you. So again, we encourage you to, uh, to come. We encourage you to um, take advantage of Broughton Community Access that's open seven days a week unless there's a holiday. 508-580. Two, um, <laughs> two, two um, uh, now I'm, I'm blanking out here. B-C-C-A, uh, um, Broughton Community Access, yeah, B-C-C. TV, yes, and um, also visit them at www.bctv.org and um, check out all the different things. You can have podcasts, you can take different uh, you know, events, you can learn about having your own show, you can do public service announcements. Before I forget, there's one more event, again, free. I mean, we like that word free. And generally speaking, everything we're going to announce is going to be free or very, very low cost. Because when you have families and whatever, that's a, or when you're a little senior, um, a little bit of a senior and more of on a fixed income, you want to consider that. But um, First Evangelical Lutheran Church is doing a concert on Monday. Again, this concert is free, the 22nd at 7 p.m. And that's at 900 Main Street. Okay, way at the other end, going south, and right across the street from Cape Cod Cafe. And before I forget, I want to uh, mention too that Broughton Garden Club's last meeting of the season, the 2021 
no, 2022, 2023, and that's um, at Our Lady Lord's door. It's open at 6.30. That's on West Street, but the parking is on Tory, and it's right behind the church. We meet in the basement, and it's going to be a garden game night. Um, lots of good prizes, so check it out. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm the president, 508 Oh, no, I stand corrected. 774-297-4939. 774-297-4939. A little easier to catch me that way. And again, we have not, um, you know, even scratched the surface of all the great things going on in the community. And please, we want to hear what's going on with you, too. Thank you, and stay safe, stay well.